What's going on guys, it's Sep, and today we're going to be going over the Bone Chiller Slug Shotgun. Now, this shotgun is a energy slot shotgun, so it's going to be a little different than the Heritage I normally use. And the thing that's special about the Bone Chiller is it can roll with surplus opening shot. Now, right off the bat, if you don't want or need a handling mod, you can actually go firmly planted, which will make it even stronger when it comes to this. But overall, this is a really, really hard hitting shotgun. I don't know how you guys feel about Sojourner's Tail, but honestly, I do not like the sights of it. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't have the same feeling as Heritage. So I've been looking for an energy slot shotgun, and this is going to be the bread and butter of it. We have a whole bunch of extra range, which will help out with the hitbox just a little bit. Range does not increase the uh, fall off distance of a slug shotgun. It's not going to make it shoot farther, but it's going to help out with the hitbox. So it's going to make it feel that much crispier. An opening shot, of course, is going to make it even stronger than it already is. So this is a very, very, very hitboxy shotgun. As you see, this is the archetype that doesn't have crazy high handling, but it's okay because it makes up for it in the other stats. So if you guys did want to go for a roll, I would recommend going for something like fluted barrel, assault mag, since you don't really need the range, um, surplus, opening shot, and maybe a little more handling. That way you can get a, like a decent amount over the 60, 70 mark. And with quick charge, shotgun dexterity, you'll have a very high handling shotgun anyways. So this is what we're going to be using today. And we're using spectral blades because we're using slug. Might as well combo it into our, you know, scummy little way of the wraiths to get some wall hacks. It's going to be lovely. Um, these are the mods for today. And yeah, overall, I really do believe that this is going to be your best option for a energy slot slug shotgun. Obviously, we have the Witch Queen coming up. God bless. Can't wait. But this is going to be uh, what I'm going to be using whenever I want to make sure that I still have my Ice Luna on for sure. Let's hop into a game and find out. All right, looks like we got a game of Distant Shore. This is going to be a long range map, so I'm going to have to play rather aggressive. But with Stompies and everything, we should be fine. You know, Hunters, movement, all the good stuff. Thankfully, the cough's gone. Watch me cough non-stop thinking about it now. As you can see right off the bat, my uh, handling roll isn't exactly the highest. But it's still going to get the job done. It's still going to allow us to uh, get a whole bunch. I didn't pick up the special back here. Dang, dude. Man's weak. Oh, just missed the hip fire. That's fine. Hip fire on slugs normally fires straight down the middle. I know it shows that huge circle like it wouldn't, but they're fairly accurate. Big range. Make sure we're all reloaded up. People are just kind of hopping around right now. Mr. Patrick Bateman continuing to allow me to get the shotgun kills. What a sweetie. Honestly, paid actor. Okay, this guy's going to be back here. This is the last word, right? Yep. So it does hit from that far, but it didn't exactly get the kill. We're not, we're just looking for a chaperone, you know, replacement at this point. <clears throat> or I guess this would be replacing duality. Wow. I actually thought that I missed that pretty hard and it still hit. I definitely shot over his shoulder and it still gave us the body shot. It's a very, very forgiving shotgun. That is for sure. Let's go back in the same area. Oh, actually, I don't know where that guy is. Pretty sure that he's like right here on the other side of the wall. On the other side of the wall. So used to ignoring special playing trials. Chase him down. Fire's just a little bit weak on it. Super hitboxing on ADS, though. That'll be the fusion rifle. 
Okay, forfeit to all fusion. Crazy easy to hit the body shots from a long range, which is nice. What? Okay, if it can kill that man, it must be the best weapon in the game. The sound is so nice. It sounds so thocky. Don't, please. <laughs> I beg of you. Some of all tiers. Nice little quick game. So as you can see, crazy big hitbox on this thing. It's actually bigger than Heritage for sure. The handling isn't the wildest thing in the game. Um, but you can definitely up the handling through a whole bunch of other options. Instead of th uh, opening shot, you can actually get threat detector. But personally, I'm not really going to ever opt in for a threat detector role. That's just my opinion. Um, threat detector is obviously great, but it's going to be more situational. Uh, and, you know, it's I'm not going to have the same hitbox as opening shot. It's kind of what makes Bone Chiller special. It's definitely going to be a uh, staple as far as my energy slot goes because it just feels so freaking good and it sounds great. I don't know why I didn't use the Bone Chiller before. I literally free loss we love to see it i literally got the bone chiller while redoing the uh the beyond light campaign so i could re-unlock stasis for the uh witch queen raid so yeah the, i literally just fell upon it i'm like surplus opening okay i didn't know about this so yeah that's how that's going uh if you guys liked the video let me know and if you guys uh want me to try out any more weapons please do leave a comment below i appreciate you guys and hope you have a lovely day peace